I'd like to talk to you about a holiday called Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. It's a beautiful day where we can remember and celebrate our loved ones who have passed away. You may have learned about this holiday before by watching Disney's movie Coco. In the movie, Miguel learns about Dia de los Muertos from his family members, and he learns the importance of putting a picture of his loved ones who have passed away on an ofrenda to remember them as they were in life. One misconception that I want to clear up is that Dia de los Muertos is not the same holiday as Halloween. Halloween takes place on October 31st, and Dia de los Muertos takes place the following day on November 1st and 2nd. However, Halloween is a spooky, scary holiday, and Dia de los Muertos is not spooky or scary at all. It's actually a very beautiful day to remember our loved ones who are no longer with us. We often celebrate this day with celebrations of dancing, music and singing, food, and while it originated in Mexico, this is celebrated in many places throughout the world. The central piece to Dia de los Muertos is to create an ofrenda, or an altar, where you can put pictures of the family members who have passed away. You can also add objects to remember them and food that they loved when they were alive. For example, if your grandfather loved baseball, you might put a baseball in front of his picture frame. This was a nice graphic that I found of how to make a Day of the Dead altar. You can have an arch and cover it with flowers. You can add picture frames of loved ones, include a glass of water, light candles, burn incense, and include food, again, that they liked when they were alive. These often take place in cemeteries on the graves where the people are buried. But sometimes these are dedicated in churches, private homes, and even sometimes in a school like this one. An ofrenda commonly has some traditional food like tamales and pan de muerto. Pan de muerto means bread of the dead, and this is often found on ofrendas for Dia de los Muertos. You'll also see the orange-yellow flowers. These are marigold flowers called sempasuchil. These are what we use to decorate the arch. Finally, you'll often see papel picado in many times throughout the year, but this is often used to decorate the ofrenda or the space around it. Papel picado means pierced paper or chopped paper and is often strung together in a banner. The most popular symbol that you'll see for Day of the Dead is the skull. This is called the calavera. The calavera skull is decorated in a beautiful way that symbolizes life. Now, when you think about a Halloween skull, you think of a, a scary, spooky skull. The calavera for Dia de los Muertos is decorated with bright, beautifully colored patterns, designs, and has flowers to symbolize life, hearts to symbolize love, and many beautiful additions to really make these come to life. When you hear the term sugar skulls, it refers to calaveras de azúcar, which are little candies that are decorated and eaten on Dia de los Muertos. If you're wondering how the calavera became the symbol for Dia de los Muertos, it all started with this drawing by Jose Guadalupe Posada called La Calavera Catrina, which was drawn in 1910. This drawing became so famous and widely known that it led Diego Rivera, a Mexican mural painter, to paint La Catrina in the center of his large mural. Now, Diego Rivera was married to a very famous painter named Frida Kahlo. You can find Frida standing just to the left of the Calavera Catrina in the center of this mural. After that, the Calavera became widely known as a symbol for Dia de los Muertos. Now, however you celebrate Dia de los Muertos, I want you to remember, this is a beautiful holiday to remember those who are no longer with us. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.